Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Some Simple Gaming. My name is Someone Died. Play today we're playing this will be the fourth episode to surviving the aftermath. This is a post apocalyptic game set in the future and we have been building our base for I wanna say yeah, let's go three episodes now. So um we are playing on easy because I wanted to, you know, for my f first playthrough, I really wanted to learn the game. And I've been dealing, we just got in some more colonists, and we get, we have quite a few, um, population is, total is 22. We're getting a, quite a few, uh, adults here, so, and only, our, I was noticing our medical can only, uh, house two occupants. If we have a ca catastrophe, uh, we will actually be in a really, 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 really bad bind. So I think we should start focusing on building a uh, better, better medical area so we can actually house more, um, you know, we can, we can house more medical, I mean, more patients. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and plop a uh, medical tent. Let's this one's a really good area for right there we put that down we'll actually press prey on regular speed we need to go and see what their our guys what's, what's they're needing uh, okay so we have radiation sickness um, not until I can start you know reclaiming some of these uh, nuclear waste I don't know what to do about that so um, are we ready to upgrade anything yet? No, okay, no, we're still ready getting this um, energy storage here. And see if our world map. Can we go anywhere with these guys yet? No. Nope. Well, we're close though. It's that line's growing up a little bit, a little bit larger. So we will be building this next, which is our solar panel. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe, press that like button right now while you're while you're listening to me. Don't watch any more of the video. I'm gonna, I'll pause the video for a second. I need you to go and hit that like button for me. Uh, when you like the the video, it lets YouTube know that you know you like the video and the video is more little interesting or it's interesting and it will actually rank me up higher so more people can see it. Uh, once more people or uh, when I get uh, more Patreons, I'm not going to buy a new gaming computer. I got a really good gaming computer. I got everything that I need. I would like to actually have some extra lights back here, but I'm actually working on that now. Um, and I think a friend's going to buy me some extra lights uh, far behind me. So uh, I also would like to, you know, spruce up this wall back there with my guns and everything. But... Um, so I'm I'm taking care of that myself. So if you become a Patreon, I'm going to you know I'll I'll give I give away games all the time on Facebook. If you go to my Facebook, I'm all constantly ask uh what Reese. I've given him several games. Uh, let's see, Johnny, um, uh, Lamb, Lamb of God. I've given him lots of games. Simple Man, I've, Jamie. I give so many games away. It's not even funny. I have hundreds of games I don't even play. Um, so I give games away like a lot, uh, and just go and add me on, on, uh, some simple gaming on Facebook, follow my Twitter, start replying. Uh, if I start noticing you, I'll, I'll give you a game. No problem. So, uh, I have lots of keys that I haven't even freaking opened. I'm like, I'm talking about AAA titles too. So, uh, I have no problem giving, giving those away. Uh, the one thing I want to get some Patreons, you know, five bucks, five bucks a month. It helps support the channel. That way I can actually start buying, um, you know, buying shirts some some simple gaming shirts. I would love to start giving away some, some simple gaming shirts. Like how awesome would that be? Uh, I got a few sayings that I say, like eat shit and die. Um, quite a few different things I, I start saying. I'll start branding them and copyright. I'm, I might copyright a couple of them and actually start, you know, start selling some shirts uh, through the different things that I say. So, uh, it would also help me uh, not pay an editor. Not right now. I've been doing everything on my, on my own. 
but I really would like to uh, get up my first Patreon. That would be freaking awesome. I really don't care about making the money. That'll, that'll come way, way later, you know. Um, all right, so these guys are ready, all three of them. So we'll go ahead and start. Let's see. Have I grabbed anything here? I don't really need, need to grab anything right there. Or should I? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Alright, and then you. Did I get. Oh, yeah, I got 308. Fuck yeah. Good job. Tudor. His name's Tudor. Alright, so we're going back. What's depleted? Something got depleted. Let's move the work area a little bit closer for these guys. All right, here. All right. See, we got Stella. She's injured. That's great. That's a shanty. Ha. Huh? Ha. Huh? This emergency shelter. Cool shop. That's a tent. It's a scrapper. We got some. We got that going on. Ooh, that's that's what it was. Need the work area. Go ahead and start depleting of that. Uh, ever since I actually grabbed up, grabbed a, an extra lumber yard, our lumber's been kicking ass and taking names, man. Fuck yeah, that's what I like to see. Uh, we got the scrapper here, getting it on. Um, I'm not seeing anything where we need to actually start coming back here and getting some more um, some more resources. Where's my worker at? What are you doing? I'm like, all right, so we need to start coming and moving our our uh, people back here, and we'll actually build some more um, some closer like. Uh, recyclers and different things like that so let's go ahead and put a very long walkway coming straight on back what's depleted there's nothing depleted I don't know what they're talking about depleted. Oh, that's what's depleted. Okay. And we'll move our workload here. What can be done? Let's see. Let's go ahead and start taking that out. Right, we got the recyclers. Let's go ahead and get some more water wells. Let's see. Right there's there we go and we can get another we can get some water storage we'll put that uh, right here all right so we have three handlers we have 20 out of 22 adults happiness radiation sickness all right uh, let's see what what was this? Zero tired, rested poorly, 18 rested poorly, radiation sickness. Yeah. 
So there's 388 left. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. So there's 238 left. What's over here? Ooh, what is this? Is that a vehicle? That's a car. Oh, what? Let's see what's over here. Search. Oh, bandits. Bad bandits. And there's level six, defense one. They have pills. All right. So we have eight energy. What requires energy? It's, but we're still not at, at the. We have three more hours left for that. Oh, he's got radiation sickness. That's not good. All right, energy storage, power saws, quality capacitors. All right, let's go to food. What do we got? Some skinning pack tactics. All right, you give us work one extra working slot, basic farming. Production of fiber plus one. Bartering. Trade center. Your colony is not the only one in the world. Other societies are still out there and willing to exchange goods once you have built a trade center to coordinate these transactions. Trades trade offers can be managed from the trade menu. Let's start trading. I think that's going. I think that's going to be pretty awesome. We'll get we'll get some trading going. All right, we got the water tower up. All right, so what do we got depleted? I got those little black ants that are like freaking like nuclear fallout. Uh oh. The horizon starts turning blue to toxic green. The air seems to burn your lungs. These are the first signs of the impending danger. Intense radiation and constant threat with both colonists and crops withering and dying during a nuclear fallout. New seeds cannot be planted before it's over. Severe cases of radiation sickness and thirst take their toll on everyone. Harvest crops before they wither. Gather iodine pills from the world map to cure radiation sickness quickly. Build more medic tents or assign more workers to existing ones to help those who are in need. Oh man, this is gonna be, this is our first catastrophe. Actually our first one was the heat wave. Now this one is going to be the nuclear fallout. And this is actually what is actually kind of scary to me and my colonist. All right, so harvest crops before they wither. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, look at our food. It's at 71. Gather iodine pills from the world map to cure radiation sickness quickly. I know where some radi I think radiation pills are. Um, are these radiation pills? The antibiotics? I don't think they are. Okay. Uh, build more medic tents or assign more workers to existing ones to help those who are in need. Alright, so that's incoming days before Jesus shit. I really need to get nurses right here. And that takes fifteen freaking hours. Shared duties and clear communication in life threatening situations are paramount. So colonists are treated quickly and correctly. Without a steady supply of medicine and medical equipment, people have to rely on simple, straightforward methods of healing. Learning about those or these is key to keeping your population safe. Mm.
damn it. It's a field hospital and a medical center. Field hospital right there. So, biscuit eater. That's way over there. We are not going to have enough time. We're barely probably going to have enough time for that right there. So, all right. Let's go ahead and do what we can to try to, like, you know, prepare for this thing. Ten, twelve, six. These are talks of planning a big Grandois feast. Grandois, I don't know how to say that. Um, some kind of feast for the colonists to enjoy. It would certainly be good for general morale, but such a celebration would not be cheap. It will take four steaks for food. I don't care. Like I feel like uh, four venison. So we actually have plenty of venison. We don't have that much production in food wise, so we need to actually bump up food. But let's go ahead and do it because it'll bring us up a little bit. Food is prepared, drinks poured, and tables set all over the settlement. People soon forget their exhaustion as the celebration goes on. Suddenly, a loud noise cuts through the air. One man is thrown over several tables, knocking food to the ground. People around look shocked. Some almost in tears. What's the matter with you, stupid runts? What's there to celebrate? We're all dead. There's no hope for none, the man fumes. Subdue the man by force or show empathy. We're going to subdue him by force. And emotion to the people around the man and tell them to take him away. The man is grabbed and subdued, but he ref refuses to remain silent, even as if he's going to... If he's being dragged out of sight. Idiots. We will all die. Stop lying to your, yourselves. The sooner this ends, the better. As the man's voice finally disappears, people try to get back to the celebration, but the mood seems to have been killed completely. That's you fuck. Alright. So, looks like he's got... Is that radiation pills? I don't know the... the His attack is pretty high. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, I got a bunch of pills. That's good. Oh, I, I beat him. I defeated him. Oh, hell yeah. They have iodine pills. Cool deal. I don't think we're, we're not going to make that back in the day, though. Go ahead and grab some more of that. Did we grab any more? No. Shit. Alright. So, is that going to get built? Are we building that today? Are we not going to build this? We need to build these guys. Come on. Like, we have things about to happen. It's not going to be fucking pretty. Alright, so we need to get a scavenger food. Let's get another trapper. 
Gotta get that trapper done. Alright guys, come on. Trapper. On delay. Man, I hope we can survive this. I just seen an unhappy face where the uh, statistic statistics race radiation sickness. We have three that are rested. We have three tired, rested poorly. Can't help that right now. We actually need to demolish one of these. Actually, we can demolish two of them. That gives us some extra. Bartering is complete. So we need to, where's that, nurses right here. We need to research that immediately. Have we built that? Have we built it? Come on guys, build it. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, medical tent is done. We got a we got one, we got two, we have three. Four, five. Five times two because the it houses two patients. That's ten. That's half of our population. So hopefully when the uh nuclear fallout uh happens, it doesn't wipe us completely out. Alright, so that has been completely depleted. Let's pause so we can find out where we can. Alright, so there's some there. Where's the closest? The closest is going to be probably right there. Move work area. You're going to have to go out there. And then you're going to have to go way the map. We're going to have to put you over here. Alright, that is a very long walk. Alright, so we'll put you back at two times. Alright, so we can get you. That's a big base out there. Doomsday Fort. Enter vehicle, yes. Enter vehicle. Alright, so you... Get some more pills. I need to get you back to the house. Uh, where's our house? Way down here, so... Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Alright, um... They're not, they're not gonna make it back in time. That's the bad thing. Nurses, nine hours to complete. Come on. So we have two with radiation poisoning. We have a battery pack. We only have five of those materials. Okay. We can actually get that going, kinda. 
we can get I mean at least the resources will come with the uh, the wood and the metal and here is the nuclear fallout oh no oh no Our guys did not oh, two hours are you kidding me shit Can we halt production? If we put if we halt production on everything. Alright, if we halt production uh, I don't know how that's gonna work. Um if I fire them, will they stay home? I'm just having to have a skeleton crew. Uh, hmm. Maybe that'll work. Not for sure. Actually, we'll add somebody back. We have completed nurses, and then we're going to get medical training. What is medical training? Without a steady supply of medicine and medical equipment, people have have to rely on simple, straightforward methods of healing learning about this is key to keep your population safe. We're going to have to research that. All right. Yeah, I understand that already. Hopefully we can marry merchant, someone's at the gate. Except officer plus uh, we don't have any of that guy, sorry. Shit. Oh, this is brutal and super scary. Uh, we have three, four, five. I want to say that has colonists. It doesn't show really who. Do we have anybody that does it show average health? 96%. 12 educated. Does it show anybody that ha who has problems? Colony buildings, catastrophes survived, total survivor groups visited, survivor groups given refuge. Now it, it doesn't really show, it doesn't really show. Production power saws that brings up shower. All right, so that requires four energy. Scavenging planks for construction will inevitably come to an end at some point. A proper sawmill guarantees a steady supply of sweet, sweet timber. It's a steady supply of timber. Hmm. Um. 
I kind of need to get some like we need to get some food coming in and maybe some let's see colony exploration frontier post motorization unlocks garages for repairing and storing your cars found in the world map found vehicles must first be brought to a garage to be repaired by a specialist that requires four energy um it's 150 Yeah, let's go ahead and go with that. Alright. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so it looks like they can... They're still gonna... Uh, just keep them working. Fuck it. Alright, lucky you found an abandoned car. A vehicle helps to transport specialists and resources through the map and quickly and efficiently. Cars initially broken need to be brought to Colony Garage for repairs. Alright, that's what we're doing. Got they're like it's for their full tooth tooth. Let's see. And so that's five right there. That's not even counting these fuckers up there. Can't make it very far, fuckers. A massive mutated deer is stalking around the gate, more than two meters tall and four meters in length. It is looking very, very aggressive. It would be safest to just shoot it with bows, but trapping it first would ensure that all of its meat will be left unspoiled. Oh, gave us a shitload of food. A few colonists walk outside the gate with a large net and some makeshift weapons. The deer charges at them, but they manage to throw the net over it, causing the deer to trip up and fall. The ground shakes as it goes down. One heavy swing from the axe cuts the deer's head clean off, leaving its entire body to be harvested for meat. That is awesome. Alright guys, check this out. I want to know if we're going to make it out of this. I really hope we can make this out of this. I'm going to go ahead and end the video now so when it gives you all reason to come back and to check how devastating this thing is actually going to do on our colonists. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video.